Bless the Lord, warriors of God. Good morning, Derek. Glenn. We're praying for America and time spent with the word. Father, excellent is your name in all the heavens and all the earth. Lord God Almighty, we worship you. We bless you. God, I thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies. Holy Spirit, come and breathe afresh. Even as we come praying over the United States of America, breathe your breath all over this country, Father God. Let your fire fall. Let revival hit the land, Father God. Let the plans of the enemy be brought to naught, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, and heal the sick, Father God, amongst us in the mighty name of Jesus and encourage those that need to be encouraged on this morning. This I pray in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Amen. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 14 on, it says, don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? Come on. How can light live with darkness? Come on. What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? I answered that question and I said, absolutely zero, none. How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's people and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers and separate yourselves from them, says the Lord. Don't touch the unclean thing. As we pray for America on today, we are praying that there should be a separation because how can light, my God, dwell in darkness? One has to conquer the other and America has to come out of darkness and enter into the marvelous light of the Lord. How can righteousness labor with wickedness? Mm -mm. Righteousness exalts the nation. Wickedness tears down the nation. This is why it is so paramount that we pray for this country. Why? Because we believe in the power of prayer and where there is a people to pray, there is a God, hallelujah, glory to God, to answer because he says, before you call, I will answer. And while you are still speaking, he says, I will hear before they call, that's his people, that's us, he will answer and while we are still speaking he will hear. So on that note, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Father God, that you will cover this land. Father God, you will sever the ties, righteousness from wickedness, darkness from light, good from evil, because we refuse to call evil good and good evil across this nation. And by the power of the Holy Ghost on today, I'm asking you, God, that you will send down your holy fire and revive the land for your glory. This I pray in Jesus Christ, most holy name, so shall it be. Well, until the next time, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor because in this day and time, we, the believers in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we must stand and having done all to stand, stand for what is right and zero compromising in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Shalom.